what, what happened? Did you decide to just do that? I, no, I mean, yeah, I, I decided to. I've always been obsessed with the um, um, ethereal world of like fairies and elves and white snow princesses and mermaids. And I think with my blue eyes and my light skin, white hair makes me look more like a fairy. And <laughs> also, I've, um, with the shortcut, um, I got inspired by Marilyn Monroe just because of her short cut and the white hair. I thought it was a good time to go white rather than having long white hair. I think it suits short hair better. To transform and to show that you're willing to transform and, and, and that you can change and you can be, you can look certain ways and still, still look good. So, yeah. Summer. I got to Australia. I was supposed to be in Australia for a bit and then go to Hawaii and I got to Australia and I lost my passport. And that's like the fourth one I've lost. Yeah, yeah, so I got I got stuck in Australia for longer than I intended to, which is fine. My family's there and my friends are there, but it was winter. This is why I'm so pasty. Everyone's tanned and I'm white. <laughs> Red lips are my favourite. I love having a red lip. It's nice, and even the white on the eyes. Yeah, it's good. It's a very sexy but strong look, I think. There's lots of white. I think it was based on um, men's white shirts. Um, alterations of that, like different uh, perspectives on a man's white shirt. So there's plenty of white in the show, I believe. Um, there's obviously black in colour as well, but um, I've got one white white shirt outfit with some shorts and a black dress. Amazing photos. I mean, we see amazing editorial of you doing the most amazing looks. So you get transformed a lot in photos. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, that's my favorite part of modeling. I think is um, being transformed. It's almost like acting. When I shoot, I feel like I'm an actress. That's my favorite part. I made it to the city of lights before they took over my life. How did you furnish your apartment in New York? Is it modern, vintage? -y? It's all it's all vintage. It's um most of the stuff is from junk stores. I, I I found couches and lamps and trinkets from junk stores and stuff like that. Yeah. And like uh, so, it's a very is it like bohemian? Yeah. Lots of things all over. Yeah. All your souvenirs basically, also too, no? Yeah, I have a lot of I I, I like trinkets. I like statues and jewelry boxes and stuff like that too. What you got? shop for furniture in ages. I've lived in my apartment for two and a half years now so it's been a while since I've shopped for furniture um, and I go through spurts with clothes. Every time I get to a city I find a market and have a little bit of a shopping spree. That's generally my shopping. I made it through my very first night Should only one person the light It must have been quite a sight The man was not so debonair lucky charm that you carry around with you or anything special like a little teddy bear or a little mouse or I know you have a lizard. Do you still have your pet lizard? Yeah. Yeah, she's really big now. She's like, she's grown a lot in the last year. I've had her for a year now. Um, but no, I don't, I don't think I have any lucky charms that I carry around. I always wear a, a small ring that, um, that represents my boyfriend, but yeah, that's all.
just a guy. I like people with depth. I like people with emotion. I like people with a, a strong mind, an interesting mind, a twisted mind. Um, and also someone that can make me smile, obviously. And my boyfriend's all of those things. What you doing with those funny little records? What you doing with those scruffy little tunes? Do you have any other talents? I, I'm, an, I'm an artist. I use oil pastels a lot um, and drawing. And I'd love to say that I paint more. Unfortunately, I don't have the space. So I'm looking to move to have a big studio so I can really throw, throw paint around in any time that I want. Um, so I, I'm an artist. It's only edit that I'm thinking of. And it's not about you. And it's not about you. And it's not about you, yeah. Is it abstract work that you do? Yeah, always. It's, it's abstract with also a tinge of that ethereal sort of feel to it generally. Don't mind, cause me and I got the whole thing figured. Just don't dig it so. When you start, everything's so stressful and every, you're so worried and stressed about, about every little thing in shows especially, but as you move on and you, and you grow up and you, um, there's not so much pressure to be a, a, a new model, it's much more relaxed and calm and um, yeah, there's just a much more relaxed. Have you made a lot of friends in business? I've made a few good friends, yeah. There's a couple, there's a couple that I really respect. Loves the sun Who cares that it makes plants grow Who cares what it does since you broke my heart Who loves the wind Who cares that it makes breezes Who cares what it does since you broke